Hi, I'm Ashley Borden and welcome to Perfect Form. Today we're gonna to be doing a workout using one of my favorite pieces of equipment, which is called a dip bar. You can get it online, super easy to put together and very portable. Another thing we're gonna be doing is using a timer. So you can use your timer on your phone or you can get an app if you want for like 99 cents and you're gonna set your timer for 10 minutes for the actual circuit. And you're gonna go through this circuit as many times as you can within 10 minutes. So let's get started. So first thing I wanna do is open up your lats and your chest and hamstrings. You're gonna place your palms on, on the top. You want your feet to be a little bit more narrow than shoulders. You're gonna sit back in your hips and you're gonna drop your chest very, very far down, trying to get that chest as close to your legs as possible. And then come up for a beat. And again, you're gonna sit back, stretch, and up. And this stretch you're gonna do for a total of one minute. So I want you to set your timer for one minute and I just want you to go up and down from this stretch for one minute. Let's do one more. Really rotate that bum back, push back through your heels, drive that chest towards your legs, and then come all the way up. So you should feel nice and open with your chest and your hamstrings. And now we're gonna open up your quads. So I want you to take your foot and hook the top of your foot to the back. Now, if you're super, super tight, this might not be the most comfortable position for you, so you can skip it, or you can do this move on the ground. So you can do the same quad stretch by being on the ground, squeezing your back glute, and really tucking your tailbone underneath you and holding that, and you'll feel this quad stretch. Well, we're gonna do it on here. It's a little bit more advanced and a deeper stretch. So you're gonna hook your foot, Base your other foot, make sure that you're pushing forward so this guy doesn't wobble, okay? And you're gonna squeeze that back glute and gently drop back through that knee and up. Gently drop back and up. You are gonna feel a huge stretch through your quad all the way up into the top. And this stretch, you're gonna set your timer and you're gonna do two minutes, two minutes on each leg. Okay, so just a little stretch hold and notice I'm dropping my knee underneath and up, good. And let's just switch to the other side so I can show you. So you're again, you're gonna hook that foot on the top, have a good base with your front heel, make sure that you're pushing forward and you're gonna drop that back knee down just a little bit and up, drop it down. This is an excellent quad stretch and up, make sure that back foot is slightly flexed and you're really trying to squeeze the glute of the leg that's bent. So let's do two more of those. And up, and let's do one more. And up, excellent. Okay, so we're gonna start your circuit now. I want you to set your timer for 10 minutes when you go through it. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do the moves properly and you're gonna follow along. Okay, so first thing I wanna do is your hip raise to a row, okay? Little, little cue, when you're gonna be pulling, you wanna visualize your hand is like a little claw. So when you pull, you don't rotate your wrist when you're pulling, because that actually takes the movement out of your back. So I'm gonna hold it like a little claw, a little claw on both sides. My shoulders are directly underneath my hands. I'm gonna drive straight up through my hips, strong glutes, pull, and down. A nice cue when you're pulling is that you're trying to squeeze your elbows together behind you. Big push, strong glutes. Three, two more. Drive it up. Four, one more. And make sure when you're pulling that I'm opening up my chest before I'm pulling. Excellent, five, great. Okay, last one. So now we're gonna moving on to your air squats. And I actually love to do them within the dip bar because the actual, the, the bar helps you with your form. So you're gonna stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Okay, and then you're gonna just turn your feet out about 11%. When you sit back, I want you to sit back further than the bar, and I want you to push your knees out to the outside of the bars. So I'm gonna reach forward with my palms as I sit back. One, and all the way up. You're gonna go 20 air squats. Two, really sit back in that. Three, push those knees out real wide. Four, sitting back, five, Reach, six. So notice how I'm really driving my chest forward and my hips back. Eight, and you just have to worry about sitting behind that bar, pushing those knees out, keeping that belly in. 10 more, drive it down. You wanna try 
to drop those hips below your knees. Eight, if you have the mobility to do it. If not, just stop it right here. Seven, drive those knees out. Six, five, keep your eyes up when you're squatting so that won't have you drop your chest down. Four, three more. Big reach, three, knees out, two, one more, and one. Great. Now we're gonna do a plank with an alternating knee drive with two push-ups. So I'm gonna use the chair. You absolutely can start on the ground. If you're beginning, if you start on the ground, you're gonna go way up on the tippy toes. Your glutes are gonna be real tight. Center your body weight on the dip bar. If you're pushing too far forward, you'll feel like it's tilting. So that way you have to really connect to your core and you would go knee drive, knee drive, two push-ups, one and two. And again, if you don't have the dip bar for this, you can do this on the ground. One and two. Okay, so we're gonna go up to the top. Okay, and you're gonna do this two times through in your circuit. You're gonna go knee drive, knee drive. Use your lats, glutes and quads tight. Push up and push up. And again, pull it in, pull it in. Two push ups, one and up and push all the way up. Nice work. So again, you're gonna go through that circuit of that rotation of those three exercises. You're gonna go through that for 10 minutes, as many rounds as you can. Make sure that you keep a note of how many times you went through it, so when you do it again, you can try to beat how many rounds you did the first time. Thank you so much for joining me for this workout. A lot of people ask, well, what can I do if I don't have a piece of equipment? Certain pieces of equipment that I'm using are actually really worth the investment. So if you can, I would definitely invest in it. Thank you again for joining me. And remember, the most important thing, I want you to connect to your body.